Welcome to the vault. This is where we do some straight up coin collecting. I am Tripwire, and we are definitely low on coins, without a doubt. <laughs> Anyhow, this is where we're going to do another topic week, and we're going to be talking about the Hobo Nickel. Yeah, I know, it, it doesn't look like a nickel. That's because it's not a nickel. But uh, yeah, the correct terminology for any coins that are like this, it is Hobo Nickel. That's what they call it. That's the way it's supposed to be. But anyhow, before we jump into the internet and we learn a bit about hobo nickels, we need a beverage first, without a doubt. Now, I've done this one brand, we'll call it brand, a while back, a while back. But I grabbed this one because I don't think I've ever had this flavor before. It's written in Japanese, so I have no idea what it says. I don't even know what the flavoring is supposed to be, to be honest with you. But here's what's really interesting about this. For those of you that missed the first one, it comes with a little topper. See, up in here, you're going to see a, you're going to see a little marble fall when I try to open this. Last time, it was a pain in the butt, and this one's probably going to be the same. <laughs> Bam! Y'all hear that? And, of course, it got a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> So now I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bubble there. <laughs> a little, sorry, not bubble. A little ball there. <laughs> a little marble. Let's see what this tastes like. Almost like a ginger ale, believe it or not. It tastes almost like a ginger ale. And I wasn't expecting this to be as messy. All right, so anyhow, we're going to jump into the internet, and we're going to learn a little bit about the Hobo Nickels. Okay, here's some information on the hobo coin, but even though it's supposed to be called a hobo nickel, but I don't think it really matters at this point. We know what we're talking about. Um, a hobo nickel is a term applied to a certain type of coin, which alters or changes the appearance of the subject to that coin. And it usually can be done whether just for art's sake or maybe make a little joke out of it. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. It's just a coin that has been altered or changed. So, a lot of times the artwork's like phenomenal, in my personal opinion. Uh, let's see. i got to get my cursor here. There we go. Let's see. Um, how long have the Hobo Nickels been around? Good question. Uh, they've been crafted since the... Since the mid-1970... Or 1700s. I'm sorry. Been crafted since the 1700s. Go figure. So, these have been around for a long time. Way long. Now, why the nickel? That, that's another great question. Why the nickel is basically due to the fact that they are easier to work with and they cost uh, very little. They, they didn't cost that much. So they were still actually being used a lot in uh, World War II days. So, yeah, that's the reason why they, you, you'll see more nickels than anything else. It's because at that time, it was like really cheap. Everybody had nickels on them at the time. The Indian head is the one that they used the most. Um, are hobo coins valuable then? Um, let's see. Yeah, some of them are. They can range anywhere between $100 and $300. Uh, some have even brought in $24,000, probably at an auction somewhere. So that is kind of cool. So yeah, they can be very, very valuable. Now, are hobo coins legal? Um, yes. They are, they're legal, you know, because it's not a counterfeit. It's definitely still uh, American currency. So so they're definitely not illegal, but you don't really see a whole lot of them in circulation at all. So uh, where can I learn more about hobo coins? Okay, you just go to hobonickels.com. So there you have it. There's actually a lot of prominent artists, um, Hobo Nickel Society, on, I believe, Facebook or, their, no, I'm sorry, their website. They actually have a list of the more popular artists, the ones that are more famous with the Hobo Nickels. So we definitely know they've been around for a long time. And uh, speaking of that, I want to show you some uh, pictures. All right, this one here, whoops, got that in the way, sorry. This one here was actually made in 1917. So this is definitely a very valuable one. Um yeah, I ran across this Jaws one, and I went to the website hoping I can buy it, and I can't. It's just a picture, but I want this coin with a passion. Yeah, now, and of course, you guys know I like the 2005s. <laughs> so, yeah, here's a very wicked one that I absolutely adore. I really dig that one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, uh, like I said, when they get detailed, they get detailed. I mean, they even take parts out of it. Can you imagine the work that actually went into this one? Probably a whole ton of it. 
And you can also make jewelry out of them because you got to admit, uh, that skull ring is absolutely killer. Super killer. And also they got, oh, the Mercury Dime Rings. Look at that. That's incredibly awesome. I love it like crazy. And last picture, but not least, Zippo lighters. You can, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I might have to start buying more hobo coins just for this fact, okay? <laughs> so there you have it. There's some information on the hobo nickel. I hope it helped you all out. So let's get into some uh, coin searching, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, Hobo Nichols. This is the one that I own, and I'm probably going to be getting more, because <laughs> I'm kind of like an artist by nature, and when I see stuff like this, I just find it absolutely incredible. So, Anyhow, like I said, we're very low on coin rolls. So uh, uh, what we're going to do is I got like two rolls of pennies. We'll look at one this week, and we'll save the other one for next week. And uh, let's see here. We're going to dump this out here, and let's see if we can find anything good out of all this. Can we or not? Let me pull this up a bit so I can see it better. That'd be awfully cool. All right, so what do we got here right off the bat? We got a... Uh, can't tell if that's 61 or an 81. Well, it's definitely copper. Copper for sure. We need that. Love copper. Nope, 92. Don't need that. Um, doo -doo -doo. 93. Don't need that. Thank you all very much for supporting Straight Up Metal Detecting. If you guys got any suggestions for the show, put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to try anything see here yes if you're into coin collecting like i am every friday i do something on the i do the vault every friday unless something major comes up nope Ugh. that was ugly all the less i'm still having problems getting coin rolls look at fake oh 1947 or 1974 stupid dyslexia <laughs> I know it's on Facebook. Everyone's going, I got a $300 worth of half dollars. I can't even get a roll, dude. Stop rubbing it in. <laughs> I believe that's a 68. Definitely a hold one. 2017 is that DRP. Can't tell right off the bat. Can't tell. Ah, it's a D. We like the peas, don't we? Yes. That's actually a very nice condition for a 69. But still, it's only copper value right now. Looks like 91 to me. Haven't found a wheat penny in a while. I take, I take that back. I think I found one last week off camera. And another D. Well, of course it's another D. Why would life give me a good coin? <laughs> see what we got here, but won't. Can't see. 2006. No, we don't need that. 2015. Not cutting it. Yeah. Again, I'm always looking for topics, so it's the way the coin situation is going. If you guys want me to research, look up something for you that you think other people would also enjoy, let me know. Let me know. This is the perfect time, guys, too. <laughs> I can't make out that one. I want to look at it later. Boom. You know, one. that's 2020. Try to scoot this back a little bit. Maybe that'll help a tad. 2011, 2018, no, nope. You know, you know what's been becoming scarcer and scarcer is the 2009s. Absolutely love the backing on those. And for a while there, I was finding finding them in like every roll. Now it's like, nope, oh, they disappeared off the face of the earth. If I'm lucky, if I go through 10 rolls, I find one. And normally the conditioning is nothing to write home about. Of 2016. Nope. 2015. Nope. I have four more here. Whatever it is, it's ugly. <laughs> Definitely don't need it. No. 82s. No. No, I'm not playing that game. 
you guys want to know what I'm talking about, just go back into the archives. I did a whole special on 1982s. Yeah, 1982s. Oops. Okay, um, we did that. Let's do some worldwide coinage. How about that? Um, randomly pick four coins out of this bag. I will research them over the week and let you know what they are next week. Do that one, that one. Let's go back to that. We'll do this one here. And we will do that one there. There you go. These are four coins I will be looking at. And that will definitely be uh, researched. And I'll let you know next week. But what did we find last week? Good question. About to look at those right now. Boom. And what do we have here? We have uh, a lot of glare is what we have. It looks like a doggy. I don't know what kind of. But anyhow. Uh, this is from South... Milan, Meland, M A L I N D, or oh, Somaliland. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, Somaliland. 2002. I know I butchered that. Uh, this is a 20 shilling, and this is made out of stainless steel. Very good condition, a dollar sixteen. Uncirculated, a dollar thirty four. So that's a cool little coin. I know I'm gonna th this week. I've had more problems trying to pronounce these names. So, I will be butchering them. I apologize to the country. Please do not nuke us. Okay. So, what do we have here? This is from Western Africa. A 1972. And this is a... It says 5F on it. And I believe it said Franks. So, I believe it's like 5 Franks. And you gotta love those horns. It's, it's like total devil. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of aluminum bronze and in very fine condition 58 and in fine condition 28 yeah i know i wrote that one backwards on accident oh well could be worse i couldn't have anything on it at all right let's see what do we have here boom we got a little guy oh oh you're a fun size you're a fun size salamander that's what you are uh slovenia this is from slovenia this is a 1992, oh crap, here we go, 10 Stolin, Stoltenvo, S-T-O-T-I-N-O-V, it's a coin, okay, it's worth 10 something, <laughs> oh, why didn't I pay attention in foreign, foreign language, uh, very fine condition, this is 35 cents, uncirculated, 69 cents, it's made out of aluminum, I think I left that part out accidentally while totally destroying that name of that coin. But anyhow, last but not least, from last week, we have, boom, we got glare. That's what we have. We got glare. Not good. See, look at that. See? Cool. Um, Gibraltar. G-I-B-R-A-I-T-A-R. I'm calling it Gibraltar. I don't care. Uh, 1995, this is a five pence. Turn them around so you can see that one. See, there, there's a little monkey. Monkey see, monkey do. Five pence, copper, nickel, and an uncirculated is worth $1.20. That was the only listing they had on that coin. That's all that they did have. All right, let's do uh, uh, some wheat penny winnings. How does that sound? But that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? I think so. I love wheat pennies. Of course, you guys watch the show. Y'all know that. We got tails here. We have heads here. Boom. I'm going to flip a coin and figure out which bag we're going to do. We are going to do heads. Uh, again, we're going to be doing heads. Seems like we, that's all we do is heads around here. I think we're going I think we're going out four weeks straight with the head thing. So I'm going to randomly pick some coins out of here. Small file. Not a ton, not a lot, but just enough. Got to be conservative on the coins. And now we're going to check, it, check them out. We're going to find out what the date is. And we're looking for 1942 uh, and older. So far, it looks like we're starting off good with a 1941. So, yeah, we know that's collectible. And, again, I'll tally everything up and let you guys know next week. Is that 19, 19? Sorry, some of these coins are so faded. It's, like, really, really hard to see. Yep, 1919. First two coins, we already got a profit. Uh, 1954, nope. What do we got here? We got a 1956, nope. This guy here, what was that, 1957, nope. So 
1941. Is that a, looks like a 41. 1941. There we go. Ooh, shiny. Not good enough for us, but it's still shiny nonetheless, and I love it. 1940, straight up. Where have I heard those two words before? Um, 1952. I don't have a lot. I might have to, once again, I might have to grab a little bit more. 45 doesn't cut it. Is that another 1919? We are scoring it big time on the 1919s. Those are, God, I can't remember what they were a piece. Maybe 20 cents or something like that. You know, we're gonna, we'll grab just a little bit more. A little bit. <laughs> 1919. Doing good on that. Just grab a very little bit more. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm having fun. That's it. I'm not grabbing any more than that. We gotta conserve. 1957. Nope. 1945. Not it. 1941. See, we're doing phenomenal today. Very happy about it. Another 19. I just cornered the market on all the 1919s. So, give it up. Don't go to your bank. I got them all. Nobody else can have them. Okay, um, we're going to go over some of the coins that I did find uh, this last uh, week in coin collecting, which I did off camera over the weekend. So, when we come back, we're going to check them out, and I'll let you know what I found so far. Or actually, what I did find. Wow, I was like way off on the wee pennies. I thought I only found one, but <laughs> this is what I found over this last week of uh, coin collecting. We got actually three wheats, go figure. I, I think they're all in the 50s. So. But I did find a really cool rainbow coin, a nice rainbow penny. Got a 2005, 2009 penny, but it's like really, really bad, but I'm going to hold it anyways. Got two 2017 peas. Couple of Canadians, got a couple of Canadians there. I found a 1934 nickel, uh, 2004. Then we got your 2005, uh, three 1960s. Uh, we got some really nice 2020s over here. This is a first for me. I don't remember having the backing, but again, this is in like really, really bad conditioning. But I'll probably hold it anyways. How can a coin get so bad when it just got released is beyond me. So, anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to end the show here with... Dun, 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 search for silver. Good news, we actually have a search. The bad news is they're dying, so don't get your hopes up, because I surely won't. So this is going to be the last of it. Until I can get some more coins. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got? Uh, 96? Nope, I don't need that. Come here. What do we have here? Oh, get down. 20, you know, 2020, uh, for some reason, I'm just going to hold that. Don't know why. Um, it's like 2019. Yep, 2019. 2016, we did upside down. And what do we have here? Blair is lovely today. Is that 60? 1960s, yep. Just check the rim and you know, not just regular old clad. Wow, that's beat up. 1983. Ugh, glare. 2002. 2002 again. Twice in a row, go figure. 2019. I'm just too high there, sorry. Get back here. What is your problem today? Stay. Good coin. All that for a 2010. Lovely. <laughs> 2007. Man, what's that? Claire sucks. 2016. 1999. 21. I swear I should just give up on dimes. 65, we gotta at least hold something, right? Dun, 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 1988, nope. Let's see, 2017, not cutting it. Getting there, I think we got about 10 or 11 more. Nope. 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 One day, we will find a silver dime on camera. One day. If 
probably when hell freezes over. I only found one dime in my years in probably over a decade now of uh, coin collecting. Over probably about a decade and a half at least. And that was just horrible. <laughs> Final four. Nope. Two more, two more. Oh, look at this stupid clear again. Last one, be silver. What was I thinking? <laughs> Spooky skull. Spooky skull. Yes, that is the hunt of ween or hunt over. I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it, but that's going to do it for this uh, episode of The Vault. And again, if you guys got any topics, any suggestions, please put them in the comments below. I'm always willing to try anything. I'll do the research for you. It'd be my pleasure. And also, I wanted to show you. See, there's a little marble in there. Makes noise. Problem is, as pain in the butt to drink. Anyhow, always keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. All right, we'll see you again next Friday for another edition of The Vault. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Later.